Howdy, it's Kyle talking about Queens, New York. A few months ago, I did videos talking about ethnic enclaves in the U.S. and which parts of the country were the number one spots for these different immigrant groups to come to, and Queens showed up so many times in that research, and I was really intrigued by it, so I went up there for a few days to walk around and check out some of these ethnic enclaves from the street. So I visited many bakeries and restaurants and talked to people from many different countries to see what it was like in Queens, being that it is the most ethnically diverse place in the world. And I do know that Brooklyn also has many ethnic enclaves, not as many as Queens, but I didn't have as much time to visit both. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Queens and how it is the most ethnically diverse place on earth. First, I want to give a quick overview of Queens. It's one of the five boroughs of New York City, along with Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx, and Staten Island. It's the largest borough in terms of area. At the most recent census, the population was 2,405,000. That's up from 2,230,000 in 2010. That makes it the second most populous borough in the city, with Brooklyn being first. The eastern border of Queens is the eastern border of New York City and goes up to Nassau County on Long Island. Now, Queens is technically part of the geographic feature of Long Island, but people that live there usually say they live in Queens and not on Long Island. Queens is home to some major features of New York City, including both of the major airports, JFK and LaGuardia. It's also home to the Mets Baseball Stadium and the U.S. National Tennis Center at Flushing Meadows. So those are some of the basic facts about Queens, but the reason why I'm doing this video is because some of the demographic facts. About 47% of the population in the borough was born outside of the U.S., and there are more languages spoken in Queens than in any other city on Earth, if Queens were its own city. There are at least 130 languages spoken at home in Queens. Amongst the entire borough population, about 24% speak Spanish at home, and about 30% speak a non-English, non-Spanish language at home, mostly Asian languages. Religiously, about 9% of the population is Jewish, and there are many different ethnic groups within the Jewish population. So now I want to talk about some of the individual neighborhoods in Queens. There are many more neighborhoods than the ones I'm going to discuss here, but these are some of the most interesting ones, some of the ones I walked around during my three days visiting there. I'll go through the neighborhoods I discuss alphabetically, starting with Astoria. This is in the northwestern portion of the borough, very close to Manhattan. You've had a lot of gentrification here, a lot of very expensive housing. But you still have a large number of Greek immigrants, many Croatians, and there are a decent number of immigrants from Spain, mainly from the Galicia area in northwestern Spain. Corona is a neighborhood in central Queens, south of LaGuardia Airport, west of Flushing Meadows. This neighborhood is two-thirds Hispanic, with most being from Ecuador, Dominican Republic, and Colombia. Elmhurst is a neighborhood that is 46% Hispanic, largely Mexican, Ecuadorian, and Colombian but also 44% Asian, largely Mandarin-speaking Chinese. And this neighbor is directly adjacent to Corona, so between the two you hear a lot of Spanish, but you hear a lot of different types of Spanish being spoken. And it probably won't take you too long of walking around to be able to tell the difference between South American-type Spanish or Mexican Spanish or Caribbean Spanish. East of Flushing Meadows and the Met Stadium is Flushing, which might be called Downtown Queens if there was such a thing. This neighborhood is 70% Asian, largely Chinese and Korean. Originally, most of the racially Chinese in the neighborhood were Mandarin-speaking people from Taiwan. But the area now is much more ethnically diverse amongst the Chinese provinces, and there are at least six widely spoken Chinese dialects just in Flushing. And this area has been home to a large Chinatown for so long that some of it is now being gentrified by middle and upper class Chinese. But Flushing is also where you have a large Korea town as well. Forest Hills is a neighborhood in central Queens, south of Flushing Meadows, and north of the large Forest Park. This neighborhood is about 58% white, 24% Asian, most of the Asian people in the neighborhood are Indian, and a good percentage of the white immigrants in the area are from Israel or the former Soviet Union. And as a result, this and adjacent neighborhoods have a large Jewish population and many synagogues in the area. Jackson Heights is in northwest Queens, southish of Astoria and LaGuardia Airport. There are many immigrants from South America living in this neighborhood, especially from Ecuador, Colombia, and Argentina. But there are also many immigrants from South Asia as well, especially India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. And Jackson Heights is also home to the largest Nepalese community outside of Asia. It's not often that you're going to run into an immigrant from Nepal, but in Jackson Heights, you might. And just to add to the diversity of Jackson Heights, it's also one of the prime neighborhoods of New York City. The Jamaica neighborhood is in East Queens. This is the neighborhood where you'll find St. John's University. 
This neighborhood is about 39% Hispanic, 22% Black, and 24% Asian. A large part of the Black community in this neighborhood is from Jamaica and other Caribbean islands, and the Asian population here is largely Bangladeshi, Sri Lankan, and Filipino. In fact, part of the Jamaica neighborhood is referred to officially as Little Bangladesh. Laurelton is a neighborhood in East Queens, not too far from the JFK airport. This is a mostly middle class and upper middle class neighborhood that's 90% black. Most are African American families that have been here for a long time, but many of the wealthier Caribbean immigrants of recent years live in this neighborhood. Maspeth is a neighborhood in western Queens, not too far from the East River. This neighborhood is 79% white. Most of the white immigrants were Polish, Italian, and Irish. Most of the people from those immigrant groups came largely a long time ago, but there are still some more recent arrivals from these countries. Most of the rest of the population in this neighborhood is Hispanic, largely Puerto Rican. Rigo Park is a neighborhood in Central Queens, which is where the hotel I stayed in was. This neighborhood is 46% white, 32% Asian, and 17% Hispanic. Within the white population, you have many people who are Jewish from the former Soviet Union or from Israel and much of the Asian population are people from Uzbekistan. You have many folks there who are Bukharan Jews there in this neighborhood, as well as many of the Russian Jews and Georgian Jews. Richmond Hill is another neighborhood in central Queens, and this neighborhood is often referred to as Little Guyana because of the large Guyanese population living there. Guyana is a small country in northern South America on the Caribbean coast. It was a British colony at the same time that India was one, and many people from India moved to Guyana. So you go to the Richmond Hill Little Guyana neighborhood and you have a large Indian population. Many are Indians from Guyana or Trinidad and many are Creole as well. But there are also many Sikhs from India living in this neighborhood. In fact, there are so many Sikhs, this neighborhood is often referred to as Little Punjab as well. And this was a very lively neighborhood with a lot of open air markets and street vendors. This guy here with a machete chopping up coconuts and making fresh cane sugar juice was just overall a very vibrant place and my favorite neighborhood to visit while I was in Queens. Rockaway Beach, as the name sounds, sits right along the coast at the south end of the borough. It's southwest of JFK Airport and there is a nice beach there. The neighborhood is predominantly white and 25% of the population there is Irish. This makes it the largest Irish enclave in the U.S. outside of South Boston. And the last neighborhood I'm going to mention is Woodside. This neighborhood is in western Queens. It's 40% Asian, 34% Hispanic, and 23% white. The largest ethnic group in this neighborhood is Filipino, but there are also many other immigrants from Thailand in this neighborhood. There aren't huge numbers of Thai immigrants in the New York City metro area, but they are heavily concentrated here in the Woodside area. And after a few days of walking around Queens, Little Bangladesh, Little Punjab, Little Guyana, Little Ecuador, I think you had to start calling Queens Little Earth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography from a nerdy perspective. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out. I'd like to give a special thanks to my superior patrons for their support. If you're interested in purchasing a pin for the viewer wall map or just to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page, link in the description. And as always, thank you very much.